All right, welcome back to the Informer video series. In this video, we're going to be setting up a lead magnet. Now that we have a website up, we're going to need a way to collect emails so that it puts it in a nice little bucket for us. So as people start signing up to our list through the lead magnet, we have a place to store all these leads so that in the future, in the next video, we're going to show you how you can market to them. First, we're going to navigate to bit.ly forward slash Informer email. What you're going to want to do is sign up for the free trial. We're going to be able to use this for 30 days risk free. Once you put your email in and create a password, you're just going to have to go into your email and click the activation link. Once that happens, if you have LastPass, you should be able to click on the account. Then you come back, put in the username and the password you signed up for, hit create account and make sure it saved in LastPass. Since I already have it saved in LastPass, I just clicked on the account. It filled it out for me. So what I'm going to do is click login and then what you're going to want to do is verify your identity. It's for sending emails. All these places are going to ask you to do that. I'm going to verify it and I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back. What I did was I just took a quick picture of my license with my phone, sent it to my email, and then I uploaded it into the website. It's going to say account under review when you come back and it's going to let you know you have 30 days in the trial left. I did my best to make it so that every program that we use has at least 30 day free trial and you don't have to put a credit card in so that we have the best chance of making money before we have to actually use or pay for any of these programs and you should have no problem with that as long as you're following through and you're putting the stuff you learn here into action what we want to do is come to create landing page and there's going to be all types of templates here what this is is a lead magnet it's going to be a place for people to leave their email in and it's going to save it in a nice little bucket here for us so as our list grows we have all our emails in one place so we have general e we have general we have sign up and registration promotion download sales about me webinars videos thank you pages and holiday promotion just scroll down and pick which one's most appropriate for you i'm gonna have to find one that has to do with marketing and business so after i searched for a little bit I found this which is pretty relevant to what I'm offering. I'm offering a course that teaches people how to make money and what you want to do when you're looking through. The more simple that the opt-in form is, the better it's going to be. You want to get right to the point and let people know what they're opting in for, what they're getting, a place that shows the name and the email and a big sign up button and maybe a little bit of room to explain it. You can even make two and you can see which one converts better. The black one may, may convert a little bit better than the white one and vice versa. You never really know till you do it. The whole key right now is to just get the lead magnet out there so that we can start sending people to it so that we can grow the list as fast as possible. And I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna hit select template. You can look at the template, check out the, the thank you page and we're gonna click use template. It's gonna take a little while to load. Just gonna check out the video quick. Grab your lead's attention right when they're on your landing page. Use pop-ups to trigger targeted offers whenever and wherever you want them to. You can use images, offer downloadable content, show your message once your visitors scroll, trigger a pop-up right before they exit your page, or place a sticky sign-up form to the bottom or top edge of your page to ensure higher conversions. Start designing your pop-up by clicking on the form icon and choosing the pop-ups. Keep on turning more clicks into customers. Going to want to move that and X out of this. So this is the drag and drop editor. We can click on these, move them around. What we're going to want to do is click once on it. If you hit the plus button, it's going to copy it. Then you hit the trash and just shit can it. If we hit this button, it's going to open up. What I'm going to do is just click the Facebook and delete it. I'm going to click the Twitter, hit delete. That's not going to help us out at all. And now it loaded up. What we can do now, if you notice the arrow turned into the little text tool. We can click on it and then we can hit backspace and delete all this text and we're going to change it. Headlines should always be in caps. Uh, 
So on the low no, it's a course valued at 997. And I know people are teaching the same courses with a lot of less information for a lot more. And I'm gonna let them know that they can get it totally free here. And chances are you, you signed up through here. If you're here on this page or you may have came through a YouTube video or Facebook or a forum or social media, I'm actually gonna change this, I don't like that. And I'm not always gonna be giving this away for free. The first 500 subscribers are gonna get this for free. So it's gonna say first 500 subscribers get it totally free i'm gonna click on this button i like a nice big button I'm gonna double click on that so that i can edit the text and hit backspace and i'm gonna write give me and write send sends more appropriate and i'm gonna click back on this i'm gonna see if i can stretch this out a little bit so that it's in one line and it's nice and even there next i want to edit this so i'm gonna double click I'm going to backspace all of this, and that looks good like that. I actually want to see if I can move this up a little bit, center it a little bit more. I don't like that in italics. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click off italics. That looks a little better. I really don't like that either. In there, I know they can sign up now. Ask where do we send the course. They can enter their name, their email, and they will click on send me the course. I don't like this either. I'm gonna double click. And you can really play with this as much as you want. Just make it simple and to the point. First 500 entries only. And again, I don't like it in italics, so I'm gonna click this right here. It's italics. The B would be bold. You can change the color here. Might want it red. I wish I could make it blink. You change the opacity, which will mean how bright it is, all the way till nothing. If we wanted to um, make it match the other, you could certainly do that too. I'm going to delete that, I'm going to delete this, and delete that, and delete this. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to let them know that, I'm going to let them know that the door shuts at 5, the door shuts at 500 people, and price increases to 9.97. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, no not all of it, and we can change the text if we want, I'll turn that red. It doesn't look right. We'll turn that one course closes at 500 and reopens at 997. Put a little scarcity in there. Okay, for this example, I just changed this to a first 500 entries only. Get it totally free today. Let them know the course closes at 500 subscribers and reopens at 997. Similar courses on the market sell upwards of 2,500. It's a very high success rates. They can get access for free now. Where do we send your course? They would enter the name, the email here, and then click send me the course. We're gonna click save. And this is just an example. You might wanna make it look a little better than this, but for the example, that's just fine. Then we have the thank you page. We're gonna delete this, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Delete that, delete this, I'm gonna double click on this, change the text to check their email for further instructions. So after they sign up, oh, we wanna delete the Facebook and delete the tweet. So it's basically just a way to grab the initial email and then, you know, thank them for signing up, which we're gonna do now. And after we edit the page, we're just gonna leave them a simple little message. It says, congratulations, we'll leave this here. We got it totally free, thank you for subscribing. Please check your email shortly for further instructions. And when we're done with that, we can hit save. And you have a lot more tools on the side, a lot of drag and drop features. You can drag and drop text. You can put any photos you want in there. You can make a button. You can change the size of the button. You can change the text. You would add a form here, which you can't do on the thank you page. You have shapes. I believe this would be a little video if you wanted to put a video, which videos would convert a lot better. And it's a lot more personal if you actually wanted to record yourself here and let them know in person, that would be a lot better. You'd see a lot more signups, a lot more people getting into your program. A lot more people are gonna open up your newsletter and a lot more of your offers are gonna convert. This is actually the, the video one, and if you wanted to put Twitter back 
or any social media, you can do that here. You can put a like button. We can drag a Pinterest button on there. And this would be HTML coding. If you wanted to, you see the code from the previous videos underneath the banners. You can put a banner or at some kind of picture. You would just drag and drop this in there. You would add the code here and then click save and whatever you put in would show up. Then you can edit it. And also you can sign up with PayPal and you can put a buy now page and you would just simply put a link right there. If there was a product here, they would just click the link and it would go right to a PayPal page where it would explain to them what they were buying and they could just click and pay for it with PayPal. What we want to do is hit next step. Continue without mobile versions mode. We want to generate the mobile version too. So we know that this is what it's going to look like on the cell phone. And these days a lot of people are going towards the cell phone. A lot more people these days are searching with their cell phones. Then what we want to do is hit save. Then we're going to hit, we'll just check the thank you page. Click on cell phone. We'll create the mobile version. And then we'll hit save again. And then we'll hit next step. I'm going to change this after and make it look a lot better, but for the video, we just want to make it simple. These would be your SEO settings, so in Google, this is when you search, this is what you would see. This is what you'd see in Google for the title for search. If you want to do it with keywords, you could. If you don't want it to show up in Google, you would click no index meta tag. You can put 250 characters in, but only 65 show up currently in the search in Google at least. We're not going to use a get response domain. We're going to assign this to our own domain. So we're going to click add a new domain. This is where we would write our domain name. If you wanted to put a subdomain there, you could, but we're going to put www. www. So this was filled out for us. We're going to add www, then our domain.com. And if we want to sh this to show up, we're going to have to change the DNS settings inside our hosting. In the domain settings sections, we have to go back to the DNS, which we did a few videos before this. And we're going to have to put the following name servers in as these. And then we're going to hit save and come back. Back to Namecheap. And you're going to want to sign in. Hopefully you have LastPass hooked up and filled out. So you can just click sign in. We're going to want to go hover over our name and hit dashboard. Find the domain. Hit manage, come down here to name servers, and we're gonna put in custom DNS. Then we're gonna have to go back to this page, hit control C to copy, come back to Namecheap, control V to paste, come back, control C, copy the second one, come back to Namecheap, control V, we're gonna hit the green check mark to save. It says it could take up to 48 hours. Uh, last time it only took about 15 minutes for me. We wanna come back. This is where we would choose a list. Since we don't have one, it's gonna set it up as default. So we're just gonna remember this for later. A little bit later, we're gonna choose a list and we're gonna choose messages. I'm gonna hit confirm opt-in off if you leave confirmed opt-in on, it's going to send them an email and make sure that they activate it first. You can choose to leave it on or you can choose to leave it off. If you choose to leave it on, you're going to get a lot more people that want to be on your list. If you leave it off, you might build your list faster, but a lot of there's going to be a portion of people on that list that maybe didn't mean to sign up. Then we're going to hit publish. So currently, we can check out our landing page at this address. And here it is live. If we just fill in a name and an email, make sure it goes to our thank you page. See, I definitely have to edit this. It still left these up here and didn't delete them. Again, this is just an example. You're gonna wanna spend a little bit of time editing this and making it look a lot nicer. And now we, we should We'll have one person on our list. What we're gonna wanna do is check our domain.com and it's still coming up as the WordPress. So we're gonna check back in a little while 
and when everything is all set with the name servers when we go to searchinformer.com it should show us our lead magnet okay what I did was I stopped the video for a little while I didn't want to waste too much time and I edited the page a little bit more we're on preview for desktop I just edited the top money getting training get it totally free reopens at 997 after first 500 subscribers I changed some colors around build a legit online business literally no steps skipped insanely high student success rate get limited access now and we have where do we send your course spot to fill out the name the email and the button make sure that you do it on both the desktop and the mobile device and hit save for each and it's the same thing here except I'm missing the little buy now button I'll have to add and then you go to the thank you page edit it hit save come on the mobile device make sure everything's okay and hit save the only way to make this a better page right now would be to drag in a video and have a little explainer video somewhere in here I'm not gonna go that far but you should think about doing that it will convert a lot higher so the only thing we have left to do now is wait for the name servers to update and when we visit our new domain we should be able to see our new landing page and with that that's the end of this video we will catch you on the next